generate an audio overview that targeted to a technical audience. Got a lot to unpack here. Yeah. We've got there uh, the announcement, the technical documentation, mm -hmm. and some early analysis from folks like Simon Willis and Ethan Mollick. Really want to dig into this chain of thought reasoning. Yeah, this is really the key thing. I mean, we're going from LLMs that, you know, predict the next word right. uh, to LLMs that can actually, you know, think through a problem logically. So how, how does that actually work? When we say chain of thought, what are we talking about? So imagine you're solving like a multi-step math problem. You don't just magically arrive at the answer. Just top scores on like university math exams, even outperforming uh, experts in physics bio chem problems like that's that's pretty remarkable yeah it's it's really impressive um but we should be careful not to think of this as just like oh it's gpt4 yeah but better faster you know right this is a very different approach right so it's it's more specialized like what are the trade-offs that we're looking at here yeah so o1 is definitely slower it's designed for these deep reasoning tasks not for you know rapid fire question answering okay and it actually lacks some of the features that we've come to expect um from other models so like image inputs problem and open ai argues that you know this is necessary for o1 to explore solutions freely you know competitive advantage all those that. of you that use notebook lm we have some great updates today. So the updates are coming from Ryza, who is a product lead at Notebook LM. The first update we have here is pass a note to the host. Now you can provide custom instructions. This is something that I was pushing for as part of this community, and now we have it. This is great. And the reason is because if you can better customize the audio overviews that you're getting by adding some custom instructions and you can personalize that. I think that could be a really good outcome of this particular feature in the Notebook LM product. This will allow you to customize better the audio that you're getting, the tone of it, the specific topics you want to focus on, the sources you want to use, and even adjusting your target audience. So we're going to Take it for a spin in a bit. And the other update is that now you can minimize the notebook guide. This is not a major update, but you can continue using the notebook LM product and the chat features and so on. And you can have the audio overview playing in the background. That'd be pretty useful as well as part of the user experience. And what's really interesting about this product, right? It has really taken off. They're reporting that there are now millions of users, 80,000 organizations are already using Notebook LM and they're now announcing Notebook LM business. I'm not sure if this is going to have like unique specific features for business users, but this will be interesting because probably there will be deeper integrations into Google products such as Google Docs, Google Slides and so on, which we have done some videos on. You can look at my YouTube channel. There are a bunch of videos that I've worked on and there's even a course which I will link in the description if you're interested in learning more. And they dropped the experimental label. It was experimental, now it's not. That's great because now I think they're gonna invest heavily in this because I think it's a major success. Everyone is talking about it in the AI community. I'm actually gonna start with a notebook that I already worked on. I actually worked on this one. I'm gonna release a video for this one where I was trying to generate a technical guide out of a few sources that were talking about the O1 model release. I wasn't able to catch up on all the writings, all the great blog post and takeaways that a lot of really cool people in the community have written about O1. So what I wanted to do is use Notebook LM, specifically the audio overview, to generate a summary of some of those thoughts and ideas that others have written about O1 and how they are using it. Because I tend to get inspiration from that, especially for like educational content and so on. So I'm gonna go to Notebook Guide here, and you can see that there is a new feature here, Customize. So now I can customize a little bit better the audio overview. So I'm actually gonna click on customize here, and then you will see that it has a few suggestions here. So it says like focus on a specific source. If you have many sources here, you can point to different sources and how those sources should be used. You can focus on a specific topic as well. If you have specific topics that you want emphasis on, and you can also focus or target a specific audience. And that will be something that we'll be trying out right now. I haven't seen too many examples about this, but I'm pretty sure people are going to be testing it out and to see what's possible with this. I have so many ideas and things that I want to test. So let's get to the short demo here. So what I want from my overview here, from this audio overview, is that if you look at the sources that I'm providing, so I'm providing 
the actual announcement from OpenAI on 01. That's great. And I already read that. And then I'm also providing the docs as well because I was doing some generation of technical guides for this as well. So this was useful for that. And you can see the notes that I saved there. And then I also have this post here from Ethan Mollick. He's a great writer and he writes a lot about AI in education and so on. So I wanted to incorporate his writing here as well to see what he was saying and why he was excited about O1 or his thoughts on O1. I have one more post here from Simon Willison. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Notebook LM, specifically in the audio overview, to generate an overview of this. And specifically, I'm going to use this customized feature. And what I want to do different here compared to the previous version of Notebook LM, I want to customize that audio overview. In fact, what I noticed with the last time when I generated the audio overview for the same sources, it was a bit too superficial, I would say. It was super basic and I'm a very technical person. I do a lot of research in this space. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can get the audio overview that is generated to be more technical or geared towards a technical audience. The audience in this case is me because I want to personally consume these overviews and in particular these announcements. And this will simplify kind of my workflow here to stay up to date with AI announcements. So I have all these blog posts and all of those stuff that I bookmark and create and I can now just drop the sources here and then I can generate an audio overview. And if it's technical enough, I get the value from that and then I can build content on that for my YouTube. I build courses on those things as well. And also I use that for my own consulting work that I do as part of my company, TR.TI. All right, so let's try to customize the audio overview here. It's gonna be very basic. So I wanna ask it, generate an audio overview that is targeted to a technical audience. Again, I am the technical audience here. What I'm really curious about is to see if it actually focuses on the technical content of these sources. Okay, I'm just going to add that as a note or pass this note to the audio overview generator. So I'm just going to generate here. This is going to take a few minutes. So I'm actually going to pause the recording. And then once it's finished, I'm going to play a bit of the recording. Okay, so the generation is done here. We have the audio overview and we can now play it. So I'm gonna play a few seconds here, and then we are gonna talk about the actual quality of it. Got a lot to unpack here. Yeah. We've got there uh, the announcement, the technical documentation, mm -hmm. and some early analysis from folks like Simon Willis and Ethan Mollick. Really wanna dig into this chain of thought reasoning. Yeah, this is really the key thing. I mean, we're going from LLMs that you know predict the next word right. uh, to LLMs that can actually, you know, think through a problem logically. So how, how does that actually work? When we say chain of thought, what are we talking about? So imagine you're solving like a multi-step math problem. You don't just magically arrive at the answer. Just top scores on like university math exams, even outperforming uh, experts in physics, bio, chem problems. Like that's that's pretty remarkable. Yeah, it's, it's really impressive. Um, but we should be careful not to think of this as just like, oh, it's GPT-4, yeah. but better, faster, you know? Right. This is a very different approach. Right, so it's it's more specialized. Like, what are the trade-offs that we're looking at here? Yeah, so O1 is definitely slower. It's designed for these deep reasoning tasks, not for, you know, rapid-fire question answering. Okay. And it actually lacks some of the features that we've come to expect um, from other models. So, like, image inputs, problem. And OpenAI argues that, you know, this is necessary for O1 to explore solutions freely, you know, competitive advantage, all that. But I think it's really guiding the conversation. The conversation is really trying to understand the concept, not trying to go all over the place, give a superficial explanation of it. No, it's actually trying to discuss the details and what is the development and what's the contribution of the O1 model and what it is all about, right? Breaking it down, what's the chain of thought and all those things. So I like the first version. I think it could be better, especially in the beginning part. I fast forwarded a bit just to go and see if there's anything interesting that it was saying. But indeed, in the last part, I think it was super interesting. I'll be experimenting with this a bit more. I have a few ideas that I want to try and a few requests that I actually got from Twitter. Testing to see if we can get the tone, a better tone, uh, not in tone as in audio because you cannot really customize that right the actual audio tone but maybe the tone the technical language or something like that if we can add intro 
or specific sections, right? Like if, if we take a note or something like that or a source and we tell it, okay, use this source in the beginning, explain the source towards the end, that could be interesting too, to play around with timeline and control the overall time or length of the audio is going to be another experiment I want to try out. I think this is probably not possible because I think it determines that on its own. But if we can have control over whether to generate shorter audio overviews or longer audio overviews, that could also be helpful for personalized generation of audio. And then diving into some specific topic or details. So let's say I wanted the AI to focus a little bit more on, let's say, the capability of O1 on data analysis or scientific reasoning or something like that, that is provided as part of a source or more emphasis on a specific section in one of those sources. That could also be helpful for customizing the overall overview that we're getting from this feature. Anyways, that'll be it. I'll continue to test this out and I will have a more advanced tutorial for this because I'm going to try out all of these ideas. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for listening. Consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you all on the next one.